Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, social media, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. If you are new here to the channel, I want to welcome you guys here. And those of you who are frequent viewers, I would encourage both of you guys now to click on that watermark down there in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe as well as that notification that way you guys will know when the Friday vlogs are available and if you haven't noticed already they are released on Friday. Here recently on the channel I did two different reviews one of those you can find right now up here in the top right hand corner you just click on that uh, link there and it will probably open up a new window in your browser hopefully it won't pause the video as you do it but it just depends on how you configure your browser but nonetheless it is my two-year experience on apple cider vinegar and probably the focal point of apple cider vinegar for me is around the acetic acid which helps balance your ph as well as helps the body burn sugar which is part of uh, one of the main reasons why a lot of people who are on some form of uh, you know diet or weight loss program uses it and of course you're always going to want to contact your physician on any of the things that I review but nonetheless uh, apple cider vinegar uh, video very good I liked it and I enjoyed it it was a lot of fun to share with you guys and of course along with that from the genius brand top right hand corner now uh, genius mushroom which was uh, a bit of a new tropic right it was uh, formulated to kind of uh, blend uh, certain things together like reishi mushroom cordyceps and limeane to help uh, kind of uh, your cognition and focus and clarity and I think it did all of that as well particularly it was at a very good value but nonetheless guys I would encourage you to check out both of those and there are more to come I'm looking forward to doing a review actually on Black Rifle Coffee, which I have recently ordered and used, and it was amazing coffee. We can talk about that along with other products from Genius Brand. This past weekend was VidCon, which is a convention probably, if not almost exclusively for YouTubers. It is uh, typically... Uh, you know, just your typical convention of individuals that get together, both creators and their fans and or subscribers. And this year was a little different. Now, I'm a very small channel with 5,000 subscribers, so I <laughs> would not anticipate being a particular VIP or invited guest at whatever the different levels are that they have there. You know, you have like different passes and uh, hopefully they've worked out all of those little uh, contingencies that some people had been complaining about. But really, um, the mood was a little different this year. It was uh, much different because of all the things that are happening within YouTube or across social media and a lot of that is of course when it comes to YouTube or as YouTube creators that is the AI policy changes terms of services and things of that nature so one of the concerns that some of the people had I'll just get to kind of like right to the point of this or to the point of some of the things that they had that are concerning for us as creators and that is that uh, the AI, of course, which kind of started, well, it didn't kind of start, it did start back in 2017, because at the time, being a small channel, uh, I did go to two different um, YouTube Creator Days, and the last one was in 2017, that were here in Atlanta. There was not one in 18, and I've not seen anything about one this year, at least so far. But nonetheless, uh, basically what most of the creators were concerned about was how the AI is working and how many of the channels have been demonetized. If you're not familiar with what that is, I'm gonna ask you guys a question here and uh, participate with me in the channel. In the top right hand corner right now, you're gonna see a poll. In this poll, it's going to ask you if you guys run an ad blocker. Now, I don't mind if you guys run an ad blocker or don't run an ad blocker. Basically, as creators, the way it works is for every thousand views, we get what is called a CPM or RPM, which is an ad or an ad will be placed in our videos. And for every thousand views we get, there is a, uh, you know, we get we get a uh, AdSense revenue payment. And those can vary. Those can vary anywhere from 18 cents, 23 cents, all the way up to $15, depending on you, the creator. And the concern for a lot of people, and I find this really to be more for our foreign creators than say American creators, and I'll get to that in a moment, is that um, you know a lot of them rely on that AdSense. And I think that YouTube itself is amazing for people in foreign countries because uh, it is a little more difficult, for example, for them to start their own businesses and things like that. There's a lot of red tape, there's a lot of minutia, a lot of things they have to go through to be able to even start their own business if they're even able 
to start their own business in many of these countries that participate on YouTube. So I think that in that regard, YouTube has done an amazing job at helping creators and individuals outside of the United States find opportunities uh, on their own to do their own business that maybe they would not have been afforded to if they were you know, pursuing their passion and whatever else it is that they do. So, very grateful for that. But so basically, um, the concern, of course, is if you're at, if you're if you're you know get a strike on your video. It's not a strike. I'm sorry, that's poorly phrased. If you get demonetized on a video, it will indicate to us that um, the video is not available for full monetization, right? Your your limited ads, and that was one of the main concerns because it can be even some very innocuous things because the AI looks for very specific things, and if it sees certain things or certain patterns it will then set it to that default and then you have to have a manual review done where an actual human being takes a look at it and says, okay, yeah. And that's because the AI cannot differentiate. It does not, it doesn't understand nuance. It doesn't understand hyperbole. It doesn't un understand things that are anecdotal, jokes, inferences, uh, hyperbole, those types of things. It just doesn't understand, uh, you know, satire, the, the, the typical nuances as we as human beings are able to make distinctions about. So that was kind of interesting to me that it was one of the bigger concerns because I remember when I raised the question about the AI in 2017, you know, they, uh, the, the YouTube managers uh, were kind of, you know, not as, not as enthusiastic about uh, my approach. And of course I was being civil and polite and so were they. So, but nonetheless, uh, that was uh, one of the main concerns there at VidCon. So why in the heck am I talking about it? Well, because today we're just really focusing on just the channel itself and you guys participating here and why I do this. Now, as I mentioned, uh, <clears throat> as when I was introducing the reviews, a lot of my content here is, uh, a, the way I approach it is the way I would uh, discuss these things with family or friends to you guys. Sure, I can look at my metrics and I can see, you know, what type of video does better than another video, what type of format does better than another format, what material, what topics, all these different things um, allow us as creators to see what direction we wanna go in. But the difference here with my channel, and people will say this from time to time about, you know, traffic and subscribers and things, and that is because I don't like look at my metrics and say, okay, I need to do this content that content, I need to do this way, I need to speak this way, I need to, because I'm not here to be an entertainer, right? I mean, I'm not an actor, I'm, you know, there isn't any any type of this process that, uh, you know, because I like being behind the camera, I like being the editor, I like being the director, I like being the producer, I like doing all the things behind the camera, not being the subject right here in the middle of the camera. Uh, and so that's, you know, so I'm not kidding anyone, I'm not trying to uh, pretend to be something I'm not, I'm not trying to present information to you guys, Guys, that is that is not actually genuine and substantive and tangible and worth sharing with you and that's why in some regards the channel's growth is the way that it is because it is kind of I don't want to say it's generic or basic it's just that it, I'm not an entertainer I'm not trying to elicit subscribers in that in that manner right I'm not trying to trying to get subscribers to uh, to you know for whatever pattern anyway Another topic. So anyway, so at VidCon, that was one of the big concerns there. But we also learned that um, as part of the channel, you know, we've talked about the political ramifications of uh, the tech giants and how they are affecting creators across the board and individuals on platforms. So we learned that uh, now apparently uh, YouTube is going to be introducing some type of creator on creator harassment policy uh, and I think this might stem around what we talked about uh, a couple of weeks ago when it came down to Steven Crowder and uh, Maza when they were in their little battle back and forth and see here's the thing though here's the here's the kind of thing as creators it's really discouraging and irritating and annoying and really defeats the whole purpose of any type of term of service or policy Steven Crowder did not violate YouTube um, guidelines or terms of service and he was demonetized because uh, as we've said, wrong think. Because he was going after a particular individual with particular characteristics, which he really wasn't. I mean, Steven Crowder is a comedian. He was doing satirical work. People make fun of the president all the time. People make fun of other people all the time on, uh, on late night television. All the comedians that, that, that do their shtick, do their, do their um, you know, their shows, that's, <laughs> that's what you do. You know, that's part of the humor of it all. But nonetheless, uh, so there's this new thing 
uh, harassment creator on creator. But nonetheless, um, these are some of the things that I just really wanted to bring to you guys. Um, there was a lot of topics, of course, this week. The whole wrangling and uh, Twitter fight between uh, the president and the four amigas, as I like to call them, you know, Cortez, uh, Omar, and Talib, for example. But uh, this, this just didn't really, it just wasn't really jiving to kind of bring you guys that kind of stuff. I wanted to be a little bit more lighter. Um, I kind of did want to go more into some of the YouTube creators that I have met and things of that nature. But right now, I just wanted to kind of just say, hey, you know, it's Friday and things are changing and shifting. And I did do two additional reviews and I'm looking forward uh, to uh, doing more of those and so forth. And I want to thank all you guys for your participation here. And the way you can help me, as we were just talking about AdSense and other things, is that uh, on my main, main channel page, I rarely ever talk about this, there is a donation button if you guys ever just chose to just want to donate to the channel. If you go to the main channel, the Buzzweaver channel, you know, they're on the right hand corner of the banner. But what I encourage you guys to do to make it more fun and, and less, uh, less of a nitpicky kind of thing to ask you guys. But down in the public section, I have links to uh, my um, Amazon influencer page. And there you can just use Amazon like you would regularly any, you know, like your regular visits to Amazon. Of course, if you're from out of the country, then I don't have those particular links for your particular country because we have to do it by country. And so I don't have that set up for it, but you can still visit the page and so forth and so on. But that's really kind of a way to help me as well. And that's kind of going back to what I was saying earlier about a lot of the European uh, individuals in UK, Europe and stuff. And that's why I try to encourage Light Up the Dark or the Lost History channel, the, the channel that I do voiceover for, to get involved with doing their merchandise and stuff because they're over 100,000 and, and it's really kind of uh, what's called passive income. And it just kind of helps us out as creators just to kind of, you know, get our equipment, get, a, you know, software, all the things that we use that go on in the background. So those kind of things help us out. All right, guys, so I'm going a little long-winded there. So, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that's kind of just the topic that I wanted to talk about for this particular segment. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for the Friday vlog. I want to thank all you guys for your continued participation here on the channel. And if you haven't already, you should be clicking that like button, this down there just below the video, of course, because all those sorts of things help the video in and of itself and the channel as well as sharing this with your friends on your own social media. And if you guys haven't already at this point, and why haven't you, go ahead and use this channel icon appearing right here on the screen to subscribe along with that notification bell. We say that a lot as creators, don't we? Subscribe, subscribe. That is that is kind of part of the point. But nonetheless, uh, it's always something that I encourage you guys to do. Of course, it is your choice. But nonetheless, uh, I will see you guys right there behind the camera next week.